All right, guys, welcome back. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Well, that was a new intro. <laughs> I didn't even know that. All right, so what are we looking at here? Well, this is a continuation on against our cheap versus expensive. And like I said in the previous video, I don't like to consider these things cheap because they're not cheap. Uh, one is economical. One's just damn expensive. And is there a difference? Is there a difference at the end game and performance? Well, guys, yeah, I'm going to say in this little part of our program, yes. Uh, not necessarily... Uh, what I may be talking about is uh, reliability because this is, well, a Palmetto State Armory uh, bolt carry group. And I have all the confidence in the world that this thing is going to perform. Is it MPI? Is it HPT? Is it shot peened? I think it is. So is there any reason for me to think that this guy right here won't perform as well as this guy right here? Now, this is a rubber city armory bolt carry group i know what you're saying rubber city well the only thing i got complaints in right there you got a couple dings the retail on this guy right here is about 240 bucks why did i get it well because these guys have a reputation in, in the three gun and competition world as being some of the best bolt carry groups out there on the market as far as reliability and marketability and everything else so the biggest thing that I want to tell you is the reason why we did this. This is a high-end bolt. This is about, like I said, about $240. This guy right here, I would say this is your more economical bolt. You can pick these up for $69. Free shipping. Hell yeah. With that price, I would jump all over these things every time I see them. And if I got $60 extra $70 laying around, I'd buy these. Now, a while back, I did a review on this guy right here. This is a midline. This is kind of similar. This is that titanium nitride finish, and this is the Brownells BCG. Now, why would I decide to go big or go home, especially if I have basically the same color? Well, guys, look at the, the differences here. Not much of a difference. There is a little bit of a weight difference. I know we're talking about this, and then we're going to get to the point of why would you want this? All right, so the Brown Owls is 8.2 ounces. Rubber City is 9.2 ounces. So we got one ounce exactly. What's that between a mil spec? 11.6. So roughly about 2.2 ounces difference between this guy and this guy. All right. Why do you want to maybe look at a skeletonized bolt carrier group? Well, as you can remember, when we did the complete upper, and here it is, the full Monty, we went with a adjustable gas block. And the reason we did the adjustable gas block is because we want to bleed off a little more air or a little less air back here to help in reduction of recoil. And one of those is the reciprocating force of this guy going back and forth. Now, if you've got a full 2.4 ounces or 2.2 ounces or whatever it is, less going back and forth at a rapid pace, that's going to help greatly with this guy going back and forth or up and down. So when people start talking about the levels at which they will go in order to create a better rifle, it all mounts up together. Now, one of the things we'll talk about when we start talking about lowers, and we pulled this out before, is this guy right here. This is the low mass operating system from JP. And this little guy right here, you gotta think about it. This thing weighs 3.3 ounces. In a rifle length gas system, where that is 3.8 ounces, 3.2, 3.8, even in that big guy right there. So what we're doing is we're moving less weight. We're acting in conjunction and in a symphony with the gas block here, the bolt carrier group, and this guy right here. Now, now we will be running this particular buffer with this bolt carrier because these two work reliably. Will, are we going to be moving more weight back and forth? Well, yeah, but we are going to be reliable. So that's one of the reasons why 
guys like to run these skeletonized uh, bolt carrier grips just like this and we're going to be doing an independent review after i've run the daylights out of this guy as well as i got to find a new home for this little bad boy right here and i think we have down the road but just an fyi here's a new one from the boys over there at cmc they have gotten into the game and guys i'm gonna tell you something i think they're trying to give old uh, sharps rifle company a run for their money look at the uh, tail pieces on those things isn't that cool all right guys well that's it uh bolt carrier groups skeletonized versus a uh, standard mil spec um these guys and i mean i'm not looking at trying to tear them apart to show you the difference because the major difference is in the carrier basically they're a lot lighter go to boy 32 if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so next up gotta look at my book here real quickly we are going to talk about where are these things at Ah. Uh, what do you call these guys? Uh, charging handles. We're going to be talking about charging handles. <laughs> you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and talk about these guys right here. These are charging handles. Now, this is the one that I run on a lot of my competition rigs. Uh, I get these from Palmetto State Army. There's another couple of manufacturers. I think Air Precision has some just exactly like these. They put the A on it and say it's theirs. You can typically get these for about $59, $69. I like them because, one, they provide me a nice smooth edge surface, and they're ambidextrous. So I can go ahead, I can put it in here, and it does give me that extra oomph that I need whenever I want to pull something out. I don't use this method to charge my rifle or clear malfunctions. I use my left hand or my right hand like that now in an economical we're going to use this guy right here you can get these off of ebay for like 10 or 15 dollars it's ambidextrous which is one of the cool things i don't mind it but it's economical and that's why we're going to put it in here for 10 or 15 dollars boom there you go so anyway guys that's pretty cool uh, just wanted to do something short and sweet as it relates to these bolt carriers and uh that's one of the reasons why we like to use a low mass or a lightweight bolt carrier in competition just because it lowers that back and forth and helps out with mitigating recoil muzzle flip and puts bullets in the same hole when you're doing double taps go to boy 32 if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support red white and blue god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom is not free that's a i like that the more i play around with this thing I'd like to just give it a rest, give it some more test. They had these guys on sale for $94, and for some reason they're up to $139. Anyway, that's it. Cutaboy32, I am out.